So all I'm doing is just going to be soaking the, the wood with the water a good five minutes. This is 1 8 32 by 48. So we're going to do this for five minutes. Of course, today is very, very humid, so bear with me. So what you'll need is like around six to five straps or ratchet straps and around uh, two by fours and uh, you can get this at uh, your local hardware store have them cut two by fours so this is the prepping process before we start on our Roman shield so we first just lay down all the straps make sure the handles are facing upwards because uh, when you wrap it around the barrel now these two type of barrels are preferable. You can do the, the plastic one or you can do the metal one, whichever you prefer. You can pick it up locally for $5 or 10. They're pretty cheap to pick up. So yeah, it's a very simple process. So let's start. So I put a layer of glue, uh, be wood glue between the layers of so the three wood pieces of wood. And I just gently, Lay it down. It's raining today, so I'm usually I took a, a sponge to get the water out or kind of dry it out. And uh, uh, there you go. So now in the next step, I'm going to be putting a barrel. On top of the plywood and then I'm gonna ratchet up and then let it cure for three days so let's get to it so what I'm doing is I'm uh, rolling wood glue on top of the shield so then I want to lay the linen on, on top of it so I want to put more glue because last time I was afraid to put less glue as possible so I didn't want it to seep through the linen and I created a bunch of air bubbles but eventually I fixed it but as you can see this is a simple roller you can get a used you know, roller they used for paint, doesn't matter. It can be hard as rock. Just as long as you just roll the, the glue over the shield. Yeah, I gotta get more wood glue. So this is what I'm using. Premium wood glue. It takes like 20 minutes, but there is differences wanted something more exterior, more abuse. Uh, anyways, you can you can go to the store and look at the differences. Sometimes uh, what you pay for is the value you get out of it. So anyways, I'm gonna finish this up. Uh, pour more glue on this bad boy. Just let it dribble. And dries in like 20 minutes, so you kind of have to be sort of quick on it. Now what I'm doing is uh, kind of getting all these wrinkles out best I can before it dries. Stretch it best I can. But you can use a uh, just sander block like this to kind of even it all out. You want to get this before, stretch it hard as you can.
and it's about the rain too. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, as you can see, something like this. It's already getting all the air bubbles out, making it flushed and perfect. Doesn't take that much effort. Because as long as uh, you just place something like a, a flat surface like this, and when you're warping the wood like this. Uh, anyways, so sometimes it creates a crack seam, like right here, can't really get out of, but whatever, nothing's perfect. Sometimes having little imperfections makes it even more authentic. Oh, this is going to be a beautiful shield. I should, should name all these shields. Give them their own little personalities, you know? Like cars. I gotta take this in the garage before it starts raining. So, but you apply, uh, you just pour the wood glue on there take a wood sander like this and just even out all the air bubbles best you can and then let her dry oh. uh, this shield has very baby smooth skin it's come out nice very very nice can't wait to put this shield in action so I got some good old-fashioned milk paint and some red is what I'm using to paint the Roman shield. So the instructions say do not pour all of this in at once. So you want to put a little, ooh, a little bit too much. And then pour a little, this is a whole cup. So uh, when I did the first time, I just did one cup of mixing the, the milk paint. I covered the whole Roman shield. So I'm not going to use a whole cup of water, but I'm trying to get a second coat on there because I feel it needs a second coat. But So I just mix it up. And I bought this can for like $3 from Lowe's. So this goes around $15 if you guys not want to know. Pretty much special order, sadly. But since I got so many shields to make, I'm just do, gonna do latex paint. So, let's do this up. So I'm taking uh, milk paint, it's water-based paint, so just painting. Painting the linen, that's, I used wood glue for the linen on top of the shield, so, so we'll uh, seal it a little bit more after it dries. It's looking good so far. So what I'm using is uh, boiled linseed oil, so basically I'm just going to layer it over the, the milk paint with the linen. So it can be darkened. Just take a simple roller and and it will make it even more darker. So let's get at it. Not too much, but
just enough to uh, cover the shield. So we're gonna nab this in there. As you can see it's already getting darker. Plus the oil help helps uh, protects the shield too. Of course I already uh, took it in practice and roughed it up but gave some character to it. I'm just using a little sponge roller. 